one thing which is really amazing about our university is our talented undergraduate students. And we have a very good honors program here in the Department of Biology. What we, what we are doing in, in my lab, so my research program is focused on understanding aberrations in those pathways or in those signals which would ultimately tell a cell to transform into a cancer cell. So uh, we have discovered a number of biomarkers for uh, prognosis and diagnosis of cancer um, such as those of colorectal and breast cancers. So in colorectal cancer, we are currently um, uh, developing a new blood test for early detection of colorectal cancer. So it's going to be a screening test for, um, for everyone uh, over the age of 50. You will be amazed to know that colorectal cancer is one of the most preventable, yet least prevented form of cancer because by the time it's diagnosed, it's already too late. The current tests that are out in the market are stool-based tests and uh, highly invasive tests such as colonoscopy. This screening test is going to be very helpful and it would let people know if they are positive, whether they are going to have a colorectal cancer or not, whether it is at very early stage. And at an early stage, colorectal cancer is highly treatable. I guess I knew in here I was not doing what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to get into the field of science. I was actually a welder and then I decided to go back to university. So I entered as a mature student and then I started to undertake this biochemistry undergraduate degree. Starting my master's in September, yeah. that's all going to be all breast cancer research. We're looking at a specific protein within our cells and it tends to be highly expressed in breast cancer patients. So then we're trying to figure out why is it so highly expressed and how do we change it or make it so that it doesn't happen or how do we repair damage after breast cancer has started so that we can at least develop a medicine to help people get back to normal life. It's really exciting material. Like the stuff we're doing in the labs, it's like cutting edge. It's gonna, it seems like it could make a huge difference if we're able to channel it the way we want. I got interested in that because of, I was able to make like really good connections with my prof, Dr. Shiverstaff, and he was really, really helpful in helping me to decide on which direction to go. If I went to some like online university or if I was in some huge university with 600 students a class, how could I make one-on-one -on -one contact the way I did? Like, I, right now, I'd be at the point where I would have a biochemistry degree, but absolutely nowhere to go with it. Right now, I work in quality assurance um, at a medical marijuana facility. My job is to make sure that all of the product we produce is according to our specifications because I want to make sure that the product is safe for Canadians as well as I want to prevent us from ever encountering a recall, right? You think, okay, I'm getting a bio degree and I'm going to do um, either technician or I'm going to go into med, right? Or dentistry or something professional, right? But you never really think of quality. It's probably one of the jobs where I've applied my degree the most, right? So from my, from my science and just my regular honors, I've done, I learned how to kind of just basic knowledge, right? Basic tissue culture, microbiome, like we do microbiome testing and that really relates to what I learned in second year, right? Well, my master's is where I learned how to manage my lab, right? And so that's where I picked up how to order and I made all the connections for reps. I really liked U of W. This is where I met my best friend till this day we talk. Um, I also, I really liked that towards the end, especially at the end of my master's, I felt like I had a family here, especially with my supervisor and my honors thesis supervisor. If you know, I still keep in touch with both of them. Like I come and visit them regularly.